Welcome to How To Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a chocolate Eiffel Tower. I have never been to the Eiffel Tower myself. My husband has, but I haven't been there yet. But there have been loads and loads of requests of people asking, could I do something Eiffel Tower? So here it is. To make it, what you need to do is print out the template and I'll put that on the howtocookthat.net website and there's a link to that below or on the little cards if you click on the I in the top corner you'll be able to get to the link that way. Take the bottom layer of your template and place it under some non-stick baking paper. Put a curly whirly across the top and trim it to the size shown on the angle there and then do the same on each side. If you don't have these chocolate bars where you live then I'll put a link to where you can buy them online in the blog post. They're in something like 14 countries but I know they're not everywhere. Flip that over and then use some melted compound chocolate or tempered real chocolate and pipe that over the joins and then over the whole back of it to make it stronger. This is the bottom layer and it's on a weird angle so we need to reinforce it. Now using a piping bag, follow the line of the curve around just following it and piping along the line and then pipe a second line just a little bit in from the first one and then join that to the chocolate bars by looping up and down, up and down, up and down all the way around that archway. And you'll need to make four of these base pieces. Take a block of chocolate and cut a square in the size shown on the template and this will form the platform at the first level. Now I know this platform in reality in real life has a hole in it but we're making it out of chocolate not steel and I want to make sure it's sturdy. If your cut is not smooth just take a potato peeler and run it along the edge a few times to smooth it off. Lay your pieces out flat and then bring them up so that the corners match on their angles so they all come together and use glasses or cups just to secure them so that they sit at the right angle in place. It's important you do them sort of all at once like this not one at a time because if you glue it together on the wrong angle the next one's not going to fit. So once you've got them how you want them to be just use some melted chocolate to glue the pieces together just along the base and up the corner of each join there. Once that's set, we're then going to add another chocolate bar along each leg because the base has to hold the whole structure up and curly whirlies are a bit bendy. So again, just use chocolate to glue it into place. You can use any chocolate bar here. Just use one that is quite firm and add lots of chocolate around the base and add one of those to each corner. Then we want to cover those up with more curly whirlies so that when you're looking through, you don't see the round chocolate bars. Take the template for the middle layer and cut the curly whirlies to size with one across the top and two going down each side just like we did for the first layer. Then use chocolate to glue them together making sure it stays in the shape shown on the template. For the top part line a curly whirly up with the edge and cut down straight down the center line and repeat that with another one on the other side. Join those together but that won't be tall enough so we're going to need to add another one on top. Just line up one side with the line and then trim it down to make the angle of the spike. And you'll need to make four of those. Join each one together with chocolate and then add more chocolate on the back for strength. Stand two of them up and pipe chocolate down the join. Add more chocolate and add the third one there. And then with the fourth one, put chocolate down both sides and then just lift it up and join that on. And to keep the chocolate in the piping bag from setting while I'm working, I place it on a heat pack like this instead of on the cold counter. I have had lots of questions about that. Now for the antenna on the very top, lay the tower down and pipe some chocolate to make a spike. And while that's setting, Cut four little bits of curly whirly and join them to make a square. Add the spike to the top and then add the little square just underneath it for the top platform. For the middle platform, place the sides on top of the chocolate. On the base we put it just off but on this one we want to put it on top and use glasses again to make them balance and then add a generous amount of chocolate around the base and up each of the side joins. And now it's time to put the whole thing together. 
For extra strength, attach the base to the board using melted chocolate and this will help stop those legs from splaying outwards. Fill any gaps under the legs with more chocolate and once that is set, trim it off with a knife to neaten it. Pipe some chocolate onto the feet of the middle section and flip that over and place it on top of the base. Then cut some curly whirlies to the width of the base and add them around the edge of the bottom platform. Then add the top tower into place using more chocolate of course. Place some grey fondant on the base of the board under the middle of the tower for concrete or you could use grey coloured candy melts here, whatever you like, and then just trim that off to neaten it. In a bowl mix some coconut and green food colouring. If you're using gel colours you'll need to add about a tablespoon of water to it too or it won't mix in. Spread some ganache across the edges and then add the coconut grass over the top and just use the back of your spoon to spread it out evenly. And there you have a yummy Eiffel Tower. You could use it just like that as a centrepiece at a party or you could put it on top of a cake if you were doing a huge cake. If you're not already part of the How To Cook That family, join us, click subscribe just below the video. And if you want to be a VIP subscriber, then you can subscribe on email as well. That's free and you get early access to my latest video. Click here for the template and the recipe details, here for the chocolate Sydney Harbour Bridge, and the limited edition Silver Fall t-shirts are available for three more days only, so make sure you get one of those before they're gone forever. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.